What's up? It's your boy Rampage Jackson. I'm here with the best co-host, Bear DeGidio. We're here. We got another amazing guest, but Rampage, before we go into this guest, we are having the biggest sale of the year, jackson.com up to 50% off site-wide, the best-selling chain stacks, our best-selling iced out chains, sweat proof, custom class, durable, made to be worn every day, and styles for everybody from bracelets to chains. Make sure you guys go check out jackson.com up to 50% off site-wide right now. And don't forget, if you're looking for all the limited edition clothing, you can go to jacksonclub.com. You can use promo code YT15 for 15% off. And you can catch the shorts that we've been training in, the jackets, the eyewear, everything that the guests have been wearing. We appreciate everybody's support. Before we jump right into this podcast with this amazing guest, we just want to say thank you for everything you guys have been doing. Leave comments and make sure you guys tag us on Instagram if you've been picking up some pieces. What's up, guys? This is your boy, Rampage Jackson. Again, we're here with my brother, Bear, and we got a, a special guest sitting down with us, my Giga. <laughs> How you doing? Thanks for coming, Giga. That's my Giga right there. See, look, y'all saw he got the snap. <laughs> oh, what, what, what are we doing? We're doing our, our first, like, um, what would, what we call this, Bear? This is like our first fight card reaction. I yeah. mean, yesterday, TJ told Rampage, like, hey, you're pretty good at talking about fighters, and you should start doing it more. And Rampage said, I love talking about guys, so... Let's go into the fight card. Re- Let's go into the fight card reaction business. So this is our first one, UFC 296. My Giga, don't listen to him. You know, he- <laughs> my Giga, my Giga, that'd be a good nickname. Should make some merch. My yeah, Giga. They call me yeah, my Giga, my Giga. Giga or Giga. <laughs> Uh, some people call me my giga the nigga. I don't know. Some people call me so what? I don't understand. Giga, <laughs> <laughs> giga also means the giga in in uh, around the in Soviet Union countries means kind of the cool guy, or like oh, good nice. one. I don't know. Is that your real name or your nickname? No, my real name is Giga. Um, yeah, people think that I'm coming from like George or something. Yeah. Which is very common in Georgia. Like a lot of people's name is Georgi, and they call themselves Gigi, Giga, some other stuff. I like it, man. It's cool. Thank it's, you. It's cool. So we. This is what 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 are we calling this? Just so I'm learning. <laughs> I think this is our first fight, fight card reaction. Fight video. card reaction, and and we doing it with you because you were supposed to be on this card, but you you got you got a um a injury. Yeah, man. I'm so upset. Like I never cancel my fight ever. Actually, this time also my coach and manager, they decided that to me and they kind of gave me the option, which was already decided. Uh, but uh, yeah, there, there there are some news that I wanted to announce it uh, on your podcast. And um, I think uh, uh, so the fight, uh, when I get offered and when I signed the contract, I had a broken hand and nobody knows it. Like a few days before, I broke my hand, and then they called me for the fight, and uh, that's such a such a great uh, opportunity for me to fight Emmett and uh, step in mm. octagon with him and uh, climb the rankings. That I took the fight. But I talked to my uh, doctors, physiotherapists. They said that if you're gonna do everything well by the fight uh, date, you'll be great. You'll be feeling your hand will be feeling good. So I took the fight and um, I did hold my camp very slowly to not to get injured. Everything was on point. Finally, like the, this was my first time. I w- didn't have any injuries. And uh, yeah, then I came he- here. We had the podcast with Mirab. And the next day we had the sparring. Like I trained my training and then... That happened, and after that, yeah, I saw the video, and I, I was like, man, it looks like maybe he didn't warm up good or stretch. But when I think about it, it, it was sweat on the ground, so it looked like you probably did, well, probably was warm. But you said you had to cut a lot of weight. Yeah, I was cutting a weight. I was pretty dehydrated, and uh, I'm one of the biggest guy in my division. Cuts who are over forty pounds usually on the camp. You cut forty pounds in a camp? <laughs> yeah. That sounds like the end of my uh, 205 career. <laughs> I was doing stuff like that. Yeah. Brother, that's not healthy. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. You know now, huh? I know. I just love to eat some different type of food. And that's my eater. weakness. Wait, you know? You're eating like the Georgian food, the food that's in 
Georgian, Italian, Mexican, all type Brazilian, all type. Oh, of you don't food. discriminate yeah. on food. Huh? <laughs> yeah, since I moved in Cali, I found some new food in <laughs> every time. Like, if you check my the phone, probably most search the most used websites are Yelp and Open Table and stuff, stuff, stuff like that. So you, it's safe to say you're a foodie. <laughs> I'm very foodie. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> do you know how to cook? I know how to do the barbecue. Yeah. Like, um, what else I can do? Yeah, pretty much that's my thing. I love meat, steaks, and I cook. I can grill well. No, yeah. yeah. That's, you know I, how to grill? No, I don't know. I don't know how to cook anything. You know what? I know how to. You know what? I know how to cook. I know how to make a really good omelet, and um, I make this family recipe uh, that my dad invented. Is um, pork and beans and sausage, and, and my dad has a certain way he make his. Um, my brother make his with with barbecue sauce, and I make mine with special with a special ingredient. What is it? Butter. <laughs> <laughs> I put a lot of butter in mine, and <laughs> and and, and uh, my dad actually told me that he likes mine's better than his and and my brother's. Oh, so you came out on top on that? I came out on top. I, my special ingredient is butter. Just have, have you butter. showed anyone how to make it? Yeah, yeah. I've showed my ex wife how to make it, and a, and a couple of friends. A lot of times, my friends have barbecue. They're like, "Hey, bring those beans." Bring those beans. They they like them. It tastes really good with bread and Kool Aid. You like Kool Aid? What's Kool Aid? Kool Aid. It's like water. You mix it with water and you have flavor. Drink. It's it's. See, since your name is uh, Jigga, I kind of forget that you you ain't a nigga. So it's like it's it's like nigga juice. <laughs> nigga <laughs> juice. Listen, so I call it Giga Juice. <laughs> two of C ninety six. UFC two ninety six. It's here. It's live. It's this weekend. This is an emergency podcast. He was on the first ever emergency podcast. You didn't show up, so we flew in Tyrone Woodley. His name is Tyron. Tyrone? Tyron. Tyrone Woodley. So we flew him. <laughs> is it really Tyron? This is really Tyron. I told you guys. That's why right. he gets so pissed at all. They call him yeah. Tyron. That's yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. He corrected me the first time. I never made that mistake again because he looked like he looked at me like he really wanted to fight. And I ain't really want to fight his little ass. You scared of him? No, I ain't scared. I ain't scared of no man. If he ain't you got no fight gun. Tyron? No, he's he my boy, but I'm gonna say if he if he like attacked me, yeah. Man, he, you kind of pause for a second. You gotta think about that one, huh? Mm -hmm. Huh, Giga? <laughs> no? Hey, tell we we fight us inside. Like you 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 know, you, you think about it though. Yeah, you like actually thought about it. Like, I could probably kill him. I was like, damn, I was just kidding. Yeah, yeah, but he, you know, he's he's I'm I'm twice his size. Giga said, Oh, thank the Lord, Rampage didn't come. I wanted to fight him first time or something. I'm like, damn, Giga. <laughs> I saw I saw I saw Giga in, in the gym the other day in the morning, and he was like he was like, man, you was an asshole because it was early in the morning. He didn't, he didn't say that. But I, I, really, he said it was up to me, and he just, he just reminded me. But it was early. It was like seven forty a.m. I saw him. You gotta be now, nicer to him. I'm never, I'm never up there early. He's a kind guy. No, he was nice. Hey, was I, was I not nice to you though? Yeah. Intimidating or nice? Yeah. He say, I say, hey, what's up? Say. <laughs> really? no, 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 no. Hey, how, really? how do you do it? Do you do it? Mm -hmm. Does that really? look nice? Man, yeah. it was 7 40 in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> not a morning guy. Give I am, some slack I am not a morning, morning guy. guy. I right. thought I gave you a, I thought I gave you a pound. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah. See? Okay, okay. See? Giga gets, oh, he was joking. gets a pound. Yeah. Giga gets a pound. At least that's nice of you. All right, kick us off, Rampage. What do we got here? So are we going from the um from the bottom up, right? Yeah. So uh so we were supposed to have uh this this dude named what's his name? V v Vicente Lupis. Lupus? Did I say his name right? Lu Luque. How do you say it, Giga? Vicente Luque. Uh, yeah, Luque versus Ian, Ian Gary. Now, this guy, Ian Gary, now, he's been all over my social media lately. Oh. <laughs> like, I, didn't know, I, I didn't know who this guy was until um, I was on TikTok, and I saw somebody wrote a, wrote a, song, about, wrote a song about him, about him being a coke, <laughs> a coke. But do we have confirmation? Is this true? Because I heard it was a satire uh, uh, excerpt from a book from his wife, right? So is it supposed to be satire? Is it supposed to be a joke, or is this real? I don't know this guy personally, but from from what I heard, though, that his his wife wrote a book, and he lives with his wife and her ex husband. Now, if that is true, now I'm going I'm going by if that's true. I don't know what's true. I don't know this guy. I never met him. I never heard about him until recently. Yeah. So if that is true, that's. He has to be one of the dumbest dudes in the world. <laughs> Honestly. We don't know, though. We don't know. I don't know. Listen, if it's, if it's bro, if it's, what's your name? Ian, Ian Gary. If that's not true, uh, I take back everything I just said and everything I'm about to say about your dumb ass. <laughs> <laughs> because 
Cause, okay, real talk. It's just man to man here. Sure. Uh, got, so what am I? Chicken? Man to man, and we and we got a boy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we're, we're fighting. Yeah. We're, okay, all men talking. Real, real shit. Would you no. live with your ex? <laughs> I mean, your wife and her ex husband. <laughs> Oh brother, no man. It's I. So I know the guy. Okay. Oh, you know. I, okay. I oh, go, go. I met Let's him. spill the tea then. Hell yeah. <laughs> I met him at Karate Combat. You know the one mm, the yeah. show. The and they invited me, and there was him there as well. So I guess he's from the karate background, and uh, his wife was um, announcer of the show. Mm. Uh, I think the, the time was pregnant. With lady or I they don't know. They got a baby together? They have a baby as well. He got a DNA test on that baby? <laughs> Do it look like him? I don't know. He, okay. The, okay. You know. So. <laughs> I'll look into that later. And um, yeah, like the kid looked okay. Nothing different, you know, like the, as a normal fighter. And then I heard this news and then I heard even like the Machado. I didn't know he had the last name, the Machado. I think. What I do you mean? His name is Gary. Ian Gary. Young Gary, right? Yeah. And yeah. I, I, I saw somewhere someone wrote Young Gary Machado. Let me look that up. So this is this is middle name and middle name or another last name or something. It's I don't know. Maybe it's all fake, but uh, maybe somebody maybe, say that he took his wife last name. I think so, man. Oh yeah, but Ian I'm, Machado Gary. Oh, uh, he's Brazilian or she's Brazilian? I don't know. She was, I, she, was, I, she didn't look Brazilian too. You know how she look? Is she hot? Uh, she's a nice looking lady or he's girl. He's from Ireland. He's oh, he's from he's Irish. I'm I'm one of I, I'm gonna I'm ask him if he'll let me smash his wife. Oh stop! Well, look, he he let, he let up. He's a listen, good guy. Listen, I don't know him. I don't know if he's good. I don't know if he's a good guy or not. But if his wife is hot and she lives with her ex husband, he probably likes that. You're lucky you know how to fight. I could never yeah. say something like that. I said I ask him. I'm like, hey, bro, since you letting your wife ex husband smash. <laughs> Let a nigga hit. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> bro, you know that this fight got canceled? Well, why he canceled, why he canceled his fight? Vincent and uh, Jan. So um, I heard that uh, Dana announced that uh, Jan has some pneumonia mm. and he doesn't feel good. So you saying that, I don't know how he feels now after the, uh, even he has a pneumonia. Mm. I, I don't think, I like, you know, the... All this media and stuff, and now he got pneumonia from media. Right, I think. right, right. He no, had a lot of media leading up to this. You're putting the extra salt on him. But he might die, brother. No, I'm no. sorry. Man. You make me feel bad, Jesus, bro. Giga. Not, Jesus, people, Jesus, Hey, Giga. it's 2023. Do people still die from pneumonia? Uh, no, I don't think so. Maybe yeah, I, I don't so. know. I don't if know. you if you unhealthy, maybe he looks like he, he looks like he um in really good shape. But I also saw a post where they were talking about he had like like um. Herpes on the side. Because, oh, oh shit! But yeah, I saw that. I, you saw that picture yeah. too. Like you yeah. know, wrestlers can get that though. <laughs> if you say wrestle with the yeah yeah, yeah. if so yeah I heard no 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 I've been wrestling since I was seventeen. Now I've heard of wrestlers getting mat herpes. Yeah, but on the mouth. You get it on your face. I don't know about the mouth. It looked like he'd been doing something nasty with that mouth. <laughs> I don't hey. think he's wrestling. Also, hey. I don't know. I just I don't I don't I don't know anything about the guy. I don't want to be sitting here bashing him, but I'm just saying it's just interesting. This is the first time I ever heard something about a this type of stuff about a fighter living with his wife and her ex husband. Maybe they all love each other. Yeah, it's a, this is the 21st century. Who knows? Time man? out. Time out. <laughs> it says she said this, and I quote. I wrote a book on how to be a wag. Now that the statement itself is a little bit of a stretch, I can hardly call myself an author of an 11-page audible, audible-only satire story that was written in 2010. She explained in a video posted online. The satirical book, if you listen to it, is really silly, and anybody who takes it as fact is completely missed the mark. Sean Strickland then criticized the guy, saying, I quote, guys, I never talk about anybody's spouses, but this, eh, right? <laughs> It ain't e right. He did it twice. And uh, I got to talk about it. And then he says, Ian Gary, I remember when I met you, dude, I was in New York. I remember thinking to myself, there ain't nothing. There ain't something right about that girl. So then Sean Strickland went in on him. Man, we need, that's what we need. We need to, we need to call up Sean. You know Sean Strickland? I know. You got his phone number? Uh, I might have it. I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, you, let's see. you think he'll pick I up? If you... I, I think he's actually, there's some like legal thing going on right now. 
So he can't talk about it? I, well, I heard that someone was getting Oh, sued. I do have a number, yeah. Can you text him and be like, hey, you busy you right now? just FaceTime Rampage. See, see, see if, he, if he's busy. I don't want to put you on the spot, but text yeah. him and, and uh, see see if he's busy because this is very interesting. We never, I never, I never even met anybody that that would be in a situation like this. You know what I'm saying? I, I won't even date a girl if she's friends with her her ex boyfriend or with her ex husband. If they're well, ex husband different. They got kids together. If she's like close friends with, I'm like, uh, I won't take her seriously. He, yeah, he he's online. Uh, he's online. Yeah. What do you say? Uh, he's not doing nothing. Like you want, you want to you, talk? Or? Yeah, yeah. You want to talk? You want to talk? Ask him. Ask him if we can Facetime him. Say rampage though. Don't say me. Because I tried to get him on the podcast last week with with Eric Nick Sick, so I don't need him thinking I'm trying to cause him issues. But rampage can cause people issues. I'm good. Hey, there's a photo, and it says, "In quote, he took his wife, and it's Conor McGregor at the Black Forge with a rendezvous with Ian Machado, Gary, and his wife Layla." This was in uh, September twenty, uh, September twenty uh, or September second, twenty twenty three. So it seems like there's a lot of missed information. Dylan Dennis is taking shots at the guy, you know. He's, uh, he's UFC's headliner's like biggest, biggest. He's like a, a big star out of Dublin. Uh, I want I want listen none Dylan Dennis say, but he was right about about um, homegirl's fiance though, homeboy's <laughs> fiance though. He was he was. Dropping some gems on that one, like he he embarrassed. Uh, what's Jake Paul's brother name? Logan. I think I think Dylan Dennis was going crazy on that one. That was a little too much. That was too much. Yeah, huh? that's too. You can't do. All I've that. never I've never Leave heard the of, girl alone. She ain't fighting. Yeah, I, I've I've never heard heard. I don't think it was a person with the girl. I think it was with the guy. I never heard of somebody leading up to a fight wanting to sue someone. Does anybody have mm. Ian Gary's phone number? Let's just Facetime. Him. <laughs> He's not gonna pick up. <laughs> I gotta DM him then. Say, Yo, Rampage, want to talk to you? <laughs> Well, uh, if if Sean disappeared, okay, yeah. it's all good. If he's busy, <laughs> I, I I just want. Now I'm curious about it because that's who the first person I heard talk about it. Then I heard this song. Dude wrote a whole song and performed it on on, on a video on. Uh, I saw it on TikTok. So anyway, who, this fight, you know that the Lupe, the Lupe guy. Yeah, Vicente Luque. Yeah, he's a. Uh, yeah, actually, they were Jan and him teammates. I think. Yeah. Who who do you who do you think was going to win that fight if it, if mm. it happened? Mm. Yeah, that's the video. <laughs> you guys seen that video? Yeah, no, I haven't seen it. Yeah, but the song is actually the, no one has confirmation, and it seems like this was all a big misunderstanding. It's all alleged. It's, it's all, all allegedly. Oh, <laughs> the song actually thumps. Is he a fighter, this guy? Oh. I don't know who's here. Is she 55? Or he just sings? Uh, no. Think she, she, not, she don't look 55. No. no. It, everything I'm reading here is like... Now he's saying she's 40. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's just singing. Yeah, everything I'm saying, everything I'm seeing here, Giga, everything seems like it's fake. It's all fake. It yeah. seems fake. Yeah, everything she's saying, it was from 2010. It was a satire book. Everybody took out of context, and then someone ran with this. I, I think we need to put an end to the rumor mill. I think the guy's, I think he's, uh, yeah, I don't think he did anything. I don't think it's, I don't think it's real. All right, so we're going to squash it here right, right now. We we looked into it a little bit, and we I, did some investigation. We did some investigation. Bear, Bear did all he did all the heavy lifting in his investigation. So we're going to say that. Well, and, because if I were to jump in on this with you and it's real, and then I see him at like a UFC, since we're a media channel, mm. you know, I might be front row at UFC. He going to try to he going to try to fight me, and I've only been training for three months, so I might as well put an end to it now. Yeah, yeah. But like you haven't done anything, you didn't. What? Why he would fight? Yeah, you. you well, didn't Rampage say wants to take his wife on a date or something. No, he, he, he said, I want to ask him. He yeah, I say did, yeah. he wants oh, to. Yeah, very true. Right? He's wow, right. Giga. Yeah. I, was very, I was very respectful. Wow. I, was like, hey. really? I like that, Giga. Like, I, was like, I, was, I was like, hey, you think I can ask him? He's 26, she's 40. I don't know, man. Yeah, I, like, like, I, I, like, I like older I, women. I looked them together. They looked 
Okay to me. Okay. Yeah, nothing wrong. <laughs> Would you, are you married? I am, yeah. Okay, so I'm not going to ask you anything else about that. What are you going to say? I was going to ask you, would he smash? <laughs> so uh, they looked okay, you know, together. Right. They looked kind of couple. So, so he got I, an I didn't know nothing He got an about ammonia him. and he's out. Dana White said he's out. He's out. But if he were to fight, would and, he have won? Uh, who would won? He's 13 and 0. I, I feel like they're trying to build Jan, uh, but Vicente is... Uh, Damn, very good opponent for him. You yeah. Know? So, I don't, I don't know. Do you know that you see, like, as a record, Luca has a 22, 9, and 1. So, he lost a lot. And this guy has no losing the fight. So, I don't Do you know. ever look at records for you or fight someone? No, I, I never. Oh. I, I see I, UFC's point, too. You know, they want a new Irish kid to fly. I don't know. Maybe they, they research more about Vicente. I don't know. No. Yeah, I mean, I like after his last fight. I think he posted that photo of the guy he beat up. Did you see that? Ian Gary posted the photo of the guy he beat up. The guy's eye was all messed Do up. Do you follow Ian Gary on, on social media? No, like mm. Keenan's. What was his name? Yeah, what was the last guy Keenan something right? Keenan Ivory Rain. Wayne's. Yeah, and he had like the busted eye, right? And Ian Gary posted the fight of him, and he's like, "Hey, it was a good." Someone someone wrote like, "Hey, it was a good fight." I don't think this photo was needed. And he wrote, like, hey, a fight's a fight. Like, it was a great fight for me. So, I mean, he takes his game seriously. One thing I do like about him, though, when he does strike, I do like how, how powerful he is for a, a welterweight when he sits there and bangs. He does look like he has, like, a really good strong punch, good striking skills. I like the fact that he sits on his punches and throws them. He connects a lot. I like his striking game. I do. I personally do. You talk about... Ian Gary. Yeah, he has a very good striking. Insane he's striking. From striking background. Yeah. You, you think he but, spars with his uh, wife's ex-husband a lot? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this one's a toss-up. So you say it's a, you say it's that was a, a valid question. No, I don't know. I don't know. Is it, is it, is her ex-wife a, a fighter too? Uh, is it her I, ex-husband? I, no, I, he I heard something nutritionist, but oh, okay, it, okay, okay. Uh, is it right? Is it no right? I, I don't, don't know. know. I can't be an investigator. Understand. I can't. I yeah. can't. Investigate. You just you, you just, just told us that. Yeah, <laughs> you broke it down. And told us that it was all fabricated. Well, I just got. I got to put some respect on his name. Okay, uh, what about uh, Vincent Lupus? Luke. Luke. Okay. Yeah. Um, what do you know about I him? I mean, I watched two of the fights. I don't know. I mean, he's got a he's got a unique style. I feel like a guy like this, crazy amount of fights already, right? It's over 30 plus fights. So I mean, obviously he has experience. You know better than I do. That helps when you fight against a guy who's 13 and 0. That's a low, it's not a low record, but that guy's very, very cautious. He's record protection. He's not gonna make a mistake. He's, you know, he's on a different path. So I feel like this guy is a lot more kind of feel a lot more loose to him. He can like can play a little bit more in there. Yeah, the thing the thing about me when you fight a fighter that's undefeated, like they they never lost yet. So you get two different uh, mindsets in my opinion. You get a guy who's who's going to be more cautious because they don't want to lose that O on their record. Then then you get the other guy that that's very confident in themselves and don't know how to lose. And you get that mindset that, like, like it's, it's not even an option. Like in MMA, to even go 13 and 0 professionally is is a feat in, its, in itself. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I I have to apologize to a lot of people. I, I probably never seen them fight. Um, I'm starting to watch more MMA now that I'm, you know, uh, with Jackson doing the podcast and stuff like that. I haven't, I haven't had a chance to see a whole lot of fights so i haven't seen him and because when i watch a fighter i like to see i like to think like oh what what type of mindset do we have you know that's that's the type of thing that i look for as well mm -hmm. so i don't i don't i can't say much because i don't know any of these guys i've probably never seen him fight what about you uh, jan <clears throat> is a very good striker he has a very good skills as a striking i'm not sure about his wrestling and grappling uh he has power he has more like karate background of kid and he's really good when you'll see it, you'll like him. Uh, Vicente is, uh, I feel like, more complete fighter than one specific, uh, either wrestling or striking. He's real wound. He's real rounded. Well rounded. Well rounded. Yeah. Well rounded. Well, 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 well. Man, you're from another country and you speak better English than me. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I don't know. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've been living here probably more, a lot in this, mm. maybe a little bit. Um, the next fight we have number six. Josh. And Luca has a very good power in his punches, so that's something to mention. He got sure. a lot of knockouts. He got some knockouts as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Power for sure. 
obviously, mm-hmm. before we move on, that's a good point. I think going into these two, when we break down the fights, Rampage, you know more about power than anyone, the way you pick up and slam people. Obviously, the game's a little bit different now, and you were, like, the first to do that. But some of these guys that bang at that level, too, at those weight classes, having power helps, especially when you're fighting a guy who has incredible stamina. I, I, I might be biased, but, you know, the first time when I started seeing little people knock people out, that's when I got more excited because, you know, the small boxers and, and then the little guys, I, I've, I've not watched a lot of it over the years because, you know, back back when I was going at it, they wasn't really knocking each other out. But MMA, they would knock you know, you get more knockouts mm-hmm. with the with the smaller guys. Mm-hmm. And I, what I like about watching the smaller guys when I do watch it, like it seems like you guys never get tired. It seems like you guys can go fast and mm-hmm. and and do stuff that you know I, I only wish that I can do. The little guys, man, I just I'm just intrigued by that. Like how how, how much gas you guys have in the tank? It don't take much to move y'all little bodies. Well, if if the weakness I ever had was my cardio, so I'm not that one. <laughs> For the beginning of the fights, like um, yeah, I, I do have a knockout power. I feel like you know, usually like the, I mean, knockout starts more f- from the featherweights, I believe, and I'm on right there. So What's your weight class? Featherweight. Yeah. What's that? One fifty five. One forty five. God damn. <laughs> I could. I cut forty pounds. You know? <laughs> See, if you didn't, if you didn't cut so much weight, you would your cardio and your strength would would, would, would be good. Would last yeah. longer, I would. Oh, yeah. I I I used to be karate guy first, and then kickboxer, and that times I was not cutting any any weight. You had a lot I, of knock a lot of knockouts. A lot of knockouts, yeah, and um, no. Plus, I was fighting. 155, I was barely making. So I was fighting 160, 165 wow. at that time. Um, yeah, in, I used to live in Netherlands for seven years, and nobody teach me how to cut weight. Just like, don't drink water today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. And, um, Have you ever fought a, a five round fight? And, yeah. Uh, yeah. So you fought five fives? Yeah. How how did you feel in the five, five but three minutes because in kickboxing we have three minutes oh, but it's more mind. action so five have you ever had five fives uh, five five minute rounds like a championship round yeah. I had in UFC only in MMA one time uh, yeah because the, another one I knocked the guy out in the third uh-huh. so yeah but but uh, so you fought a five but you not but you didn't go to four five you knocked them out. Before the championship ranks. So I fought two times main event, and once I knocked the guy out in the third. Mm-hmm. And uh, in the one I lost with points, uh, or we fought all five. Oh, so you five, went to, you yeah, went, yeah, so did, yeah. How did you feel like in the, in the fifth? Did you cut 40 pounds for that fight? Yeah, mm-hmm. more. <laughs> yeah, more. Crazy. And how did you feel in the fifth round? You remember? Uh, I do remember I was, I knew that I was losing the fight and I had to do something. So I like, once the fight started, I t- started to talk shit in Georgian to kind of motivate myself. <laughs> Let us hear what you said. Let us hear what you said. <laughs> yeah. I want to hear it. <laughs> no, you don't want to hear that <laughs> shit. Uh, we got to hear what <laughs> like, you said. Like, you shouldn't need that time out. You do like to some bad nasty shit. <laughs> oh, you talk nasty to yourself. And not to me. <laughs> oh, to yeah, Can yeah. you speak Georgian? Like, you know, in a street fight, when mm-hmm. something happens, that's the first thing that people say to each other. So yeah. it's kind of... Mm. What's the translation of that? Uh, yeah, it's not good. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's a good guy. Yeah, yeah. I, no, I like Giga. That, yeah, that's why I called you. Hey, we need you for this one. You were supposed to be on this card. It's even better. All right, num- the, the next fight, number six, Josh. Number 10, Bryce Mitchell. Uh, Bryce is a, is a fill-in, correct? So... Bryce is uh, the favorite so far on the papers, but he took the <laughs> short uh, notice. As you guys know, that he covered me, my ass there. Um, so Doug Nasty. Doug Nasty, yeah. He he's a dog. He has uh, uh, good grappling, mm-hmm. good cardio. Uh, he definitely is a cardio machine. But I don't know, like so far, why they put him in as a favorite because he didn't have a camp, and also Josh, Josh is a knockout puncher. His wrestling is pretty damn good, and maybe not a, gr- a grappling, but his wrestling is good. So I don't see how Mitchell can control him on the ground. Plus, Josh is really short, and uh, you know the, to control the short guys. I don't know how is it from your experience, but. For my experience, like to control the short guy who always moves and like stucky, it's pretty difficult. Yeah, yeah, I hate fighting smaller people. They're faster, more yeah. agile most of the time. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, Bryce Mitchell, Doug Nasty, we're, we're, he's coming on the podcast in uh, two, three weeks. Mm. But um, I, I am a big fan. I like when he brought the Bible in the ring. I think he was fighting Dynamite Dan, one of our good friends, Dan Ige from Vegas, who mm, trains yeah. with Eric, Eric Nixick. He brought the Bible in there, right? After he won, yeah. he donated money to the, to the Maui, to the Hawaii Islands mm -hmm. after their fire. Yeah. Mm. I think he's a great guy. I also love the fact that he's not, he's not afraid to talk about his religion and he's not afraid to tell people not to follow, you know, the bad, the bad demons in life, the bad role models. He's very, very like adamant about being like a positive representation and talking very highly of his spirit and his spirituality and his faith. So I think he's a cool dude just for that because he's not afraid to speak his mind and he hates like the, the, when people worship like, you know, negative things and demons and stuff like that. So I think he's cool just for that. His fighting style, one of the biggest dogs. He reminds me of like a new uh, cowboy, like a new Cerrone. He's just, he's going to just be in there and kind of just take punches and go through it. And he kind of has this unique style to him that, I don't know, I feel like he's like an American dog. He just gets in there and he's ready to fight. I don't know how he's, I don't know how he's favored on this. I mean, Josh is ranked number six, Bryce is number 10 and Josh is incredible at wrestling too. So I don't know if, I don't know how the, I don't know how these odds came out, but this is from UFC. Tony Ferguson and Petty the Betty. Hey, Tony. I, I'm I'm actually excited to 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 see this fight. I've seen um, Tony Ferguson fight. I've never seen Patty the Batty fight, but I've seen highlights of his fights. And uh, he actually had me on his podcast a long time before we before we started Jackson. He he um he, and I talked to him. I got to know him. I think he's a, he's a cool guy. And you know, I really I really like both of these guys. And uh, Tony Ferguson actually follows me on Instagram, and we chat sometimes. So. I, I've, I'm closer to Tony Ferguson, and he's been in a slump lately. So, mm -hmm. I'm 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 pulling from him. If we have to bet, I will put money on Tony Ferguson. You know why? Because, you know, he's he he's been in a slump lately, and I feel like he got something to prove. But I I think that I think that if I was the promoter, if I was the UFC promoter, Dana White or whoever, I wouldn't put him against Patty, Patty the Batty right now. But you know, we're fighters. It is what it is, right? I mean, he's yeah, twenty six and nine. He just came off a loss. I mean, bro, I mean, he trains right here, across the street. Yeah. Yeah. Who's Tony Ferguson? Yeah, right here, across the street. He's in Orange County. His train, his building is right there, across the street. I had no idea. I, I thought he. And so he's training with with, with Goggins here in Orange County. He's training yeah. with Goggins right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know where he does train with him, which place, but I know that you know the classic gym or classic MMA, the Tyler. Mm. Uh, I forgot his last name. Uh, I've seen him holding meets on some social media, and I think on ESPN had some program mm -hmm. him training in Costa Mesa somewhere. So I think he's local now, uh, somewhere. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, you and Patty got something in common. Do you know what that is? Me and Patty. You and Patty the Batty. That's his name, right? Patty. You have a common something. Yeah, I got something in common. <laughs> you don't know what that is. No. You guys both lose a lot of weight before you fight. <laughs> <laughs> both fat. I, yeah. I, I've seen him like on, on social media, like out his fights. Different fight. face. Oh my God. Yeah. He's, he's, he looks like a different person. Yeah, he's like fat as fuck. I can't, I, 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 I used to do the same thing. I used to cut a lot of weight. I used to cut like 30, 40 pounds. I mean, too. you heavyweight, so. Yeah, but that's why I went to heavyweight, though, because yeah. I was 205. <laughs> I used to be too, I used to fight at 205. <laughs> I used to be champion at 205. Yeah, but you looked yeah. insane at 205. That's why you won a belt at 205. Yeah, but that's when I was younger. Then the older I got, the 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 more I, weight I had to cut. I, I used to start off having to cut only like 5 or 10 pounds. Then it became 15, 20. You know? And now it's like an art, this shit, to, to cut weight. And gain, gain back is another thing. Like, bro, it's, it's bad and it's sad and Very it's pitiful bad. when you have to cut weight to be a heavyweight. That was, <laughs> why are you laughing at me, bro? I thought we was becoming friends. I thought you was my gender and everything. What the fuck, bro? I expect that from him, but you no, know. I, I don't. I don't ever laugh when it comes to weight. <laughs> why not? Because he just he just lost like a hundred pounds. What Ooh. in the world? <laughs> hundred pounds. Dang. He just saw me. No, now, but how 20, much weight? How much weight did you just lose, though? I was at two twenty seven. Rock solid, maybe like four percent body fat. So I had to lose. <laughs> I had to lose muscle. What? 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 <laughs> Say it. So you were at four percent. My coach Sean is five percent body fat. Say all it. year round. Say it. 
Oh, no. Hold on. Oh, no. Hold on. That's, that's not going hold on. That's, 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 that's not, not going, going on. on the podcast. Not, oh, my no, God. Oh, my God. You look like your dad with a head on. What? Oh, my God. It's true. Coach, you on camera. It's real. What do you mean that's real? Yeah, I was a heavyweight, bro. I fought in Bellator. I was 225. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, they wanted to put me against God. Vanderlei. I look like James Tony. <laughs> The you look like Derrick Lewis. Oh my God! Yeah, the Black Beast. Yeah, <laughs> have you met him before? Which guy? The heavyweight, the Black Beast. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah, he's I funny. like him a lot. Yeah, I'm a fan. What's up, Coach? Yeah. You don't like the way he looks? Oh, well done. Thank you, Coach. Oh hell yeah, well yeah. done. I mean, I'm yeah, trying to. I, I gotta get to 150s if I want to fight in Mexico because they want me to fight at 55. So I got 20 more pounds to go. I'm at 171. So 171. I'm at 171. <laughs> So you need like 15 pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I could do all waterway and then I'll head down there. I'll probably fight in Jalisco, but because of the dehydration and the way that, you know, I can acclimate quick. I think and I can just... Before you do that, yeah. I recommend you to try first somewhere like locally before you do... Right recommend away. what? Like to cut in weight like that. Yeah, yeah, no, I could cut weight. You know what Good the time. prize money going to be for his fight in Mexico? For they're what? they're fighting for a pinata filled with Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be good. It's good learning experience. And so then then, when I see what here, is that, Tijuana? Yeah, no, no, uh, Jalisco, Jalisco. You've been to Jalisco? No, I've never. You've been, been to Guadalajara? I've been only in Mexico, in Cancun, and yeah. Tulum. You've been to Tulum? Yeah. Yeah, so it's not there, but same thing, it's in Mexico. Uh, okay, but this fight, uh, how do you feel about this Tony Ferguson versus Patty the Batty? Yeah, so Patty the Batty. Talk a lot of shit about Georgians, so I'm definitely ru Whoa. ruling oh, to wow. Tony. Wow. Yeah. Are you sure he was talking about your country? He might be talking about Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> Magic City. Yeah. Uh, no, about my country. So the uh, we have a couple of Georgians in UFC, and there was some, their drama was going on, and suddenly Patty uh, posts some stupid shit. Like, we had a war against Russia, and he pretty much said that Oh, now I know why Russians uh, did that to you or something, like murdered you or, or something. Wow, very for real? Bad, oh, wow. wow, that's kind of personal. Wait, wait. Yeah, this very is real. Bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can find it on internet. What? It's, it's, it's like, Would you like to go up and wait class and, and oh, fight, fight the Patty Right the now, even with the tear growing, like if they call me for the fight, I'll be there. If he walked in right now, you would swear it would Patty the Batty. 100%. Really? Like, yeah. You yeah. take that. Yeah, you take that personal. You don't talk about stuff like that. I was there in Georgia when the war happened, and my friends died. Oh, my, my, my mm. they called me to go in army. Like you went you to know. the army to help. The I war? didn't go in army. It only lasted the three days the war, mm. but we lost a lot of people. You know. Yeah. Sorry about your losses, brother. Thank you, brother. And um, him using this shit for his drama and yeah. some stuff it is absolutely like hey, bad. Patty. Yeah. The Betty, mm -hmm. I'm gonna uh, ask you to give him a formal apology, apology, a formal apology. My Jigga deserves a, a, a apology. I, I I gotta say something. I just talked to Patty the Batty yesterday because he's coming on the podcast. And Let's not have him here. At the same <laughs> yeah, time. So, so so I do think because I didn't know about this. But I do think we have to get this cleared up. Before yeah, we got. On yeah, here. yeah. Cause we, because we we want to make I'll peace. I'll come. I'll come. No, I but will you can't fight. Come. But you guys can have a nice debate. Look, we want to make peace. Yes, I, we, I like to make peace. I'm tired. I'm tired of so much I'm for peace for <laughs> hey. for for as well. But he uh, he needs the uh, apolo apologize. He needs to yeah. apologize to yeah. the Georgian people. You yeah. Know? yeah, there is the families. There is the people who yeah. you know still going through a lot of pain with, from that and. This shit, like, I understand the business and show business, but yeah. I agree with you on that. Right here. So this was in 2021, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. With and, Ilya, yeah. And, yeah, and, and yeah. Ilya kind of throw something on And him. I'm not sure if you saw this, but I just want to make sure if you did, it's okay. But if you didn't, at least maybe you could see it. He said, I would like to apologize. I would like the Georgian people to understand that I had no idea about the history between Georgia and Russia. I'm a fighter, not a historian or a politician. I didn't know what had gone on. The people seem to think I said it with malice when I had no idea of the past. Not that that makes any difference. I'm just saying I think he tried to do something here. Yeah, but he didn't say I apologize. Mm. Or he, like, he said, mm. oh, this is I did. No, I didn't know. But you say the motherfucker. And then mm. you have to apologize. Yeah, That's you, all. Want, you want a formal apology for, you, for your country. And I think he should deliver it to you. This, this, is, this is my idea. If I rule the world, I would, I would like no more war. But if, if countries had problems, we would send 
the best fighter from this country to fight the best fighter from that country, and whoever wins, you know, Achilles. Achilles. just like Troy. I saw Achilles. that. Yeah, yeah, I saw that in the movie Troy. I, I, it took me years. I finally watched the movie Troy, mm. and then I figured out what's going on. Like, oh, these guys go on the battle. They just put the the, but they fight to the death. I don't say you fight to the death, but I thought that was a good idea, and I Fine. wish I wish it was like Rampage. that. Rampage, and you just come. And then they send over Fedor, and then you guys meet. No, right? then I, we would have. Then Russia would have won because Fedor kicked my ass. No, not at this level though. No, Fedor kicked my ass already. You, that was a bad example. <laughs> I'm so trying we, to use a country. I don't know. Another, okay, Rampage Vanderlei. Vanderlei kicked my ass twice. No, you beat him. But he kicked my ass twice first. All right, same thing though. You know what I mean? We would send Rampage. Not, not right now. No, we would send John Jones. I'm gonna keep it 100. Oh, if, wow. if we're gonna, if we're gonna, if we're gonna Who go would to Russia, send. Huh? Who would Russia send? Whoever. Who they get? Who do Russia got right now? They can send whoever. He, I'd be comfortable. He just lost the the, the yeah, biggest. Yuri? The, the, uh, no, no, heavyweight. He oh, lost oh, to his Aspinall. Aspinall. He lost saying. to Aspinall. Um, He's oh, big. Wow. Sergey. Yeah. Pavlovich. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would. I would feel more comfortable if America sent John Jones and in the country. I'm sending sent, you for America. <laughs> no, me. Maybe. Maybe me. Like 20 years ago. Yeah. I. I would. I, if my country was on my back. Oh yeah. Who Hell would Brazil yeah. who would Brazil send right now? Uh, Pereira, the Alex Al oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Piera, yeah. Piera, Alex Piera. Piera. Yeah. 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 Who would George send? There is another guy. Him. Job done. My, my jigger. <laughs> oh, I would gain the weight easily, right? <laughs> no, but yeah, it, it, it'd be yeah, it'd be open weight class, huh? It'd be the best. It didn't can... Yeah, like Troy. Yeah, yeah. Huh? yeah. 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 I like that. I like yeah. that. And the UK they'd send Tyson Fury. Yeah, they would, huh? Yeah, they would. Right? Tyson or Fury. Hey, guess what? Tyson, UK, I'm sorry. UK would get their ass kicked because they best fighter, they sent a boxer. We'll send, we'll send John Jones. Mm. Oh, he's done. Yeah, he's done. Yeah. Wow. So no country would be able to beat America. Coach, why are you shaking your head? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's what true. Country, if we send John Jones to do that, what country could beat us right now? Their no best one. fighter. No. Nobody. He's yeah. the best fighter in the world, right? Hand-to-hand -hand combat? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. So, but you Pretty think good. so? You going for Tony Ferguson? New game. Uh, for personal reasons, but do you yeah. think like as a uh, fighter? I don't know. I don't know about his the Goggin camp. How uh, how is this gonna go? But, David Goggins. Yeah, the David Goggins. <laughs> that's yeah. his training partner. That or that's his trainer for the fight. Uh, I'm so sure like he just more did motiv motivational. Or, yeah, or something, yeah, that's right? good for the yeah, for the like psyche because that's what he partner. needs. Yeah, okay, he he needs to when you when you lose multiple fights in a row. Yeah. It's not only like it's not only it's not even down, he's a great fighter. It's not only down to his fighting ability. It has to be some mental blockages there. And and I and I don't see nothing wrong with fighters seeing uh, you know like sports psych psychologists of sports psychiatrists. I think more fighters really need to do that. We you would be surprised at how many professional athletes really use those type of uh, services. That a lot of people use sports. Uh, Psychologist. I'm mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm be honest. I, I went to one once. Mm -hmm. I went to him. I, I saw him a couple of times for some fights. I think I lost two fights in a row, and somebody mm -hmm. suggested that I go see one. And I, I would have kept seeing him. I wouldn't have stopped seeing him. But then um, it's it was very like private, like where you know do, you know where doctors they don't like to like I guess athletes and fighters don't like to say that they went to see one. I, mm -hmm. I'm an open book. I don't care. But um, he told me he he he's seen a couple of fighters before, but he couldn't tell me who, right? Mm -hmm. But then I was paying him and everything, but then he wanted me to like wear him on my shorts and promote that I was seeing. I'm like, hold on. Then well, you can't <laughs> Wait, tell what? me you can't tell me who you worked with, but you want me to tell the whole world who that I work with you? Like, bro, yeah. you got to pay me. And he was talking about just getting on there for free. And I was like, so I just stopped seeing him. Nah, I'm so, good on that. But but I, just for the visit. Yeah, he's supposed to put his name on the. He started. Show. He started asking for that and stuff like that. And I didn't even. I shut him down. So I didn't. Yeah. I don't know how much he was going to pay, or if he, if I was going to get it for free now. Yeah. But I've already been paying him, so I, I stopped seeing him. But did it help you? I think it helped me. I I, I think it helped me. But um, maybe I should have kept seeing or went to go see a, a different one that kept it uh, like to keep it. You know. Quiet like like this doctor did with his other people, but I when he told me he saw he 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 sat with other fighters he he worked with them. The one I could think of was Randy Couture. I was like maybe it was Randy <laughs> Couture because I because I think he's very mentally strong. If you really listen to Randy, yeah. he's very mentally strong and and he says some things. I've heard some of his interviews. He says some mentally positive things that 
kind of like the same stuff this guy was saying. Mm-hmm. Actually, the I was twice. And uh, once that I lost the contender series fight and my life was standing on that fight just kind of to decide a lot because I gave up on, I was, used to be the fighting in glory kickboxing mm. and all the contracts like Glory, Ryzen, Bellator, all these contracts I had on the table and just because of the UFC, I signed a contender series fight and I lost it. Mm. And uh, that was like really heavy for me. And when I went there, um, it changed a lot. Yeah, it helped me in a yeah, good yeah. way. It's kind of like they tell you that then I was again uh, after one more loss. So after uh, yeah, after that fight, I only lost one more. And both of these times, I went to the different guys, and they had very similar, similar kind of uh, talk yeah. to me that oh, you have to. If, um, I don't know how to explain it. So, so you have to let things, let yourself this go or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Probably you have the similar. Yeah, it's been years though, but yeah. Like, <laughs> it's just the way they talk. It's just, a, it's just a mindset. It's like, it's a different, it's just a different mindset that they put you in. I think if, uh, just to, to touch on that real quick before we move on to the next fight, I think if anybody ever needs help in MMA mm-hmm. mentally mm-hmm. to understand their state of mind going into a fight, into a battle, they need to go sit down with Leota Mashida for one hour. I agree with you, yeah. 100%. This guy can motivate you just by how passionate he is when he talks. This guy's pretty motivating, and he's pretty funny. Like, when he talks, so it's, like, always a good time. Like, I look forward to sitting down here because I know I'm going to laugh. This guy, like, you just are focused. Like, there's no laughing, but he might throw some funny things in there that you're just randomly laughing at. But it's so motivating the guy knows how to like get your psyche right. He made me feel great yesterday. Yeah, we just trained like I could yesterday. Take over the world. I think he came after our training here. Machida? Yeah. You trained with Machida yesterday? Yeah. yeah. Morning. Oh, so he was here Kings. all day. At Kings, I know. After the he came with King uh, kids or no? No kids. By, by just himself. him and his wife. So he brought his two kids uh, who are 15 and 13, I believe. And they spar and it was, for me it was like damn, like when my kid will be like his age. So they were doing karate or MMA? They were doing all MMA sparring, mm-hmm. but they both train karate. Mm-hmm. But you know how Machidas, they did made like Machida karate style? Yeah. yeah. Just for MMA? Yeah. Kind of. He, he inspired me to even to be a, a better better person mm-hmm. and not being a better person towards other people because I feel like, I feel like I, I try my best to be a good person and stuff like that. Yeah, I have my moments like early in the morning or when I, <laughs> when I, when I don't want to be bothered, but inspire me to be a better person. And um, the, the secret about me, why I joke around and laugh and stuff all the time is, is for me. I have, to, mm. I have to keep myself laughing. I have to keep myself in a good mood and, and because I just, it's, just, it's just a lot going on. I don't like to talk about it, but it's for me. I have to keep myself in a good mood because I can, I can, be, like a, I can be in like a bad pe- place and be an asshole and just, and just be like, I just, I just have to keep myself laughing. That's why, that's why I do it all the time. And it, it gets, it gets old, but it, it works for me. I have to, I have to amuse myself. So I don't know if you guys know when I'm telling these jokes and saying stuff. I'm laughing with it because <laughs> for sure, yeah, it's the it, best thing. Yeah. yeah, it surprises me some of the shit I say. <laughs> <laughs> but Patty the Batty, when I first saw, when I first heard that his name, yeah, I thought he was a girl fighter. I thought it was a hot chick. <laughs> so it was Batty, right? So. I, I I didn't know about him. For, I heard about this name, Patty the Batty, Patty the Batty. I'm like, oh, the UFC got a hot chick fighting. Then I go <laughs> and I see the dude fighting, look like the Beatles. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is this going on? Why why would he why would he nickname himself Patty the Batty? Did he know that Batty is for hot chicks? <laughs> okay, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I never yeah. have the story about it. Yeah, I don't know how he got the nickname, but I would uh, leave it up to you to figure that one. I'm gonna ask him next time. Next time I he's see coming him. on this thing. I'm a, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm hopefully we him. have you outside when we have him here. I feel like that'll be an interesting day. Okay. This is a big one. This is one of my favorite guys, uh, Stephen Thompson, Wonder Boy, number six, uh, Rampage. I'll, I'll say you number five's name. Go ahead. From Castan. You want me to pronounce it? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> I know you're good at this. All right. Um, Shove cat. Rock a nigga off. <laughs> I, I got it right, didn't it? <laughs> close to, close to. How you say, how you pronounce his first name? Uh, first name is Shavkat. See, I was you right. Shavkat. Yeah. 
Huh? Shove cunt. No, no. Go ahead. No, he's he's. I said right. Pretty good. Shove, yeah. shove, shove cunt. cunt. How you say his name? No, no. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> you said I was right. Come on. Almost, almost. Okay. Uh, how do you, how you say it? Shavkat. Okay, Shavkat. Uh huh. And how you say his last name? Rachmanov. I was close. <laughs> Rachmanov. Oh, Shavkat Rachmanov. Uh -huh. like how you know how to pronounce it? Is that is that like? It's uh. Is it close to your language. It's close to no. Uh, it's the Russian, and you know the Georgia at that time when I was born was in Soviet Union, so I had to learn Russian, Georgian, English. How British. many languages? How many languages do you speak? Three, three. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And um, Stephen Thompson, mm -hmm. how you feel about this fight? It's a good fight. I think Shavkat's gonna win the fight, but um, Stephen is always being really entertaining. He's uh, striking and the takedown defense. It's, if it's gonna be on point, just Shavkat is uh, on his prime. I feel like he's really ready to take the big step in his career. So you low, you low key saying that one of the boys his 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 age is showing. Huh? I think so. I, you know, I really like his style. I'm from karate background, karate kickboxing, so I really study him a lot. All his footwork, everything about him, whatever he's doing in the fights, but. Shaf got it's like duh, 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 duh. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm a big Wonder Boy fan because you know we we we're gamers and we we played video games together before. Mm -hmm. You know he stream he he streams mm -hmm. like before on Twitch and stuff and he's a really good dude. Right. And I, I I've never met the Shaf cut 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 Shaf cunt. <laughs> I never, I never, I never. Me neither. Yeah, yeah. You never met him, but, no, you, just, but you seen him. Seventeen and zero. He's seventeen and zero. Yeah. Oh, he a dog, huh? Yeah. yeah. But but Wonder Boy just became a seventh degree black belt after thirty six years, huh? Seventh degree. Wow. Yeah. And what 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 karate? Was it? Karate. Mm -hmm. I thought he was taekwondo all this time. Is he? I thought it was karate. No, he's from karate. Is it Kurkishin? No, no. That's the badass. That's the badass. Thing. That's where right? I come from. Oh, you she come from that? Karate, uh, yeah, Kurkushin, and yeah, Goju Ryu. Yeah, yeah, wow. this that's is, badass karate. Yeah. yeah. I think he's she, she shouldn't, she shouldn't. S H I D I A N. Shotokan. Shotokan. Oh, is that how you say it? His style, I know that it's a point karate. Yeah. You know, they don't go all the way like they have to. I don't know if you guys watch the Olympics. The guy who knocked the other guy out, he lost the, uh, the Olympic final. Because <laughs> he hit him too hard. He, uh, the Olympic champion got knocked the fuck out. In and the won. <laughs> and he won. That's got to be the worst way to win. <laughs> I hate it. I hate the point karate. They do have a great stuff as well. They like footwork and stuff, but that will happen in the final, you know. Did you ever uh, watch K1? Uh, what's his name? Francisco Filio? Yeah, was just, that was my... I used to fight in K1, and mm -hmm. uh, that was my whole motivation for yeah. me to, like, be there because he's come from karate background. Yeah. And the same the same one, Kyokushin? I started with Kyokushin, and yeah. then I moved to Gojuru, which oh, is, like, okay. take down Kyokushin plus Kyo takedowns as well. Oh, oh yeah, because he, he's Kyokushin as well, right? He is, yeah. Yeah, I was a big fan of his because... Um, uh, I uh, used to play the K1 um, video game. I used, I, I had to buy a Japanese Xbox or a PlayStation. I had to buy a Japanese PlayStation mm -hmm. just to play that game. Cause, really? Because they didn't have it in America. You know, I used to fight in Japan. So I brought yeah. a, a Japanese PlayStation and... Um, they had the, the K one game. Yeah, it's all in Japanese. I had my kids are Japanese, so I had to get my my kids a little bit of kid. Like, wait, what they say? Which button to press to start the game? I couldn't read none of the Japanese. Or my ex wife, like, hey, tip, you know what? Yeah, which, she would start the game. For would, you. Yeah, start the game for me. Then I had to learn which one was it, and I played the, the Japanese game. It was wow, it was dope. And then then I had to fight K one. I fought K one twice. You fought K one. Yeah, I fought in Japan. In Japan, Tokyo. New, in, yeah, in New Year's. I think at the Tokyo Dome. Dang. I, uh, I fought, uh, what's his name? Um, Who did you fight? It'll come Dutch to guy, someone? I think he was French. He was smelly as fuck. Oh, Jerome Le <laughs> No, you know? no, he was smaller than him. But he had just beat uh, Peter Arts. Uh, he beat Peter Arts, French guy? Yeah, he um, he was really he was really tough. But uh, I, 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 I never, like, um, I didn't know him. So I had played the video game. Mm. I played the video game too. So, <laughs> hey, hey, Benny, can you look up the guy following K1? What's his name? Um, well, so, that's what I did to Josh Emmett. When I was, when I was like, I was <laughs> let them both fight. Too. Yeah, you let them then you yeah, see, see how you like it. see how he played. That's how I beat him by playing the video game because that K1 game, it was very accurate to the fighter wow. and the style. 
That, and that was before the UFC wow. games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like very long time ago. Yeah, man. and I, the same people, the same company that make those games, they make the first uh, Ciro Abadi. That's who I fought. Ciro Abadi. Is he French? Yeah, I think it's Kempo Karate is what Wonder Boy oh. is. Oh, Kempo. Yeah. Oh, that's the same okay, as Chuck. I don't know man. this guy. But you, know, oh, you didn't know that guy? No. Oh, yeah. He was, I guess he was, this This was years ago. This was you years You knocked ago. him out in the first? It's, wow, yeah. that's great. I knocked him <laughs> I, I knocked him out the first time. Then they thought it was a fluke, so they rematched. Boom. Wow. <laughs> Look at that shorts you had on, man. <laughs> I got those shorts from, I got those shorts from. Rocky? No. Sh- I thought I thought you was my boy. I thought you was my boy. Man, it was a pretty brutal knockout. Damn, you had hands, Coach. You ever seen this fight? Coach has never seen this fight. Coach, you, never... you didn't know I fought K one, Coach. What? You say you fought twice? I fought fought that guy twice because they cause same guy, same guy. Because Pride was even mad at me that I lost. I was fighting for Pride. That was my last fight on my contract. Pride doubled the most money I ever made. It was K1 fight? K1 fight. They no wanted me to, way. They wanted me to get knocked out. Pride and K1 was teaming up at this time. Yeah. And, and at first they was going head to head. They was competing. Then they said, let's team up. Like a dream. So they called dream as well sometimes. It was Inoki Bumbaye. It yeah. was like a New Year's thing mm-hmm. or something. New Year's Eve. That was oh, well, the biggest that, one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But that fight wasn't, well, I don't know. That fight wasn't New Year's, I don't think, because a couple of months later or something, I can't remember how, how much time went, but maybe I had a fight after that. They want me to rematch him. But it was the last minute. They wait till the last minute to tell me about the fight. It was I got the I got the phone call like one or two days before Christmas, and they want me to fight him on New Year's. I was at home in Memphis visiting my family. Flew to California, trained for a few days, trained for like two, two got myself days, two, and then flew right to Japan, and I beat him by decision. Wow! And K one never asked me back. <laughs> I wanted to keep going. I wanted. I was like, "Damn, you like that. now." I loved it, but it hurt. It hurt. Hurt a lot more. But the reason why I beat him in the rematch because he talked too much in the press conference. In the press conference, he was all like, uh, "You know, yeah, he got a big ego." He said, "You know, I made a mistake the first fight. I won't make the same mistake again. I know what I should have did mm. in, in, in the first fight, and I'm gonna make sure I get. It, I do it this time." And I looked at my coach. I was like, "He's gonna kick me in the legs." <laughs> So the way we was taught to check leg kicks is with the knee. Mm. And I was, uh, despite what MMA fans think, I was really good at checking leg kicks. And you know, when somebody can kick really hard, I check the leg kick. But when they don't kick hard, I don't care. Yeah. So he, that's how I beat him. I knew where he was going. I knew he was going to try to cut my legs down. So I was, I was um, setting up, setting him up. I let him come in, let him kick my knee. Did kept you, kicking my knee. Did you check leg kicks with your knee in, in UFC fights too? Oh, sometimes when they kick when people, but in the UFC, nobody kicked hard. Mm. Nobody, yeah. ki- nobody yeah, kicked hard because they yeah. want to more like a for no, just, yeah. yeah, and, and they just didn't kick hard. The hardest person to ever kick me was um, was um, what's the Brazilian guy name? Uh, Ricardo Arona. He got the hardest leg kick I ever. And what happened yeah. to him? He got power bump. <laughs> That's enough about me. Let's yeah. talk. About hey, me. real quick. I think uh, the seventh degree black belt that Wonder Boy got is Kempo. We cleared that up. Mm-hmm. But I think it is called a Shishadin or Shishadin. I don't know the actual name. I'm probably going to get smoked by the internet. But it's a term you get. But he for sure got his seventh degree black That's belt. That's great. Yeah. It's amazing. Because I, I, yeah. I, I remember him posting it because he's wearing a Jackson hoodie at the. At the yeah, 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 yeah. And Audi. Uh, you know, Audi, uh, Conor McGregor's manager. Yeah, he FaceTimed me and Rampage. I saw it. Yeah, a story yeah. you posted. Yeah, it. so he was wearing it. So he was showing a lot of love. But definitely want to shout out Wonderboy because that's a huge accomplishment. Yeah, but I believe there's a it's title great. for it. I think the seventh degree title is that. But I don't so, know. So you know, we pull it for Wonderboy because yeah, we have to. We, we well, he gonna put the work on him. I'm yeah. there too. I'm from striking backgrounds. Hell yeah. Yeah, he's gonna put the work on him. Wonderboy. Right, so we're not bet. So we're not betting on. No, this we we <laughs> taking Wonderboy by by a landmark. Did we bet on Ferguson? Uh yeah, you took I took Ferguson and you took Patty. All right, right. Okay, since you took Ferguson first, I take the the baddie. But um, <laughs> my heart's with Ferguson, so I hope I lose that one. Yeah, hey Ferguson. Just so we're all clear, one of the biggest legends the UFC has ever seen. Sure. I wish uh, they would kind of maybe let him pick his fights on on this last leg of his career and not just keep feeding him these wolves. But mm-hmm. We'll see how that goes. You know how it is. When people are getting fights, it's all business, right, Rampage? It's all, you're right, it's all, it's all business. business. All, all right. right. The, the next one, uh, you pronounce, because I, I don't know how to say these names. 
for the belt. This for the belt. Uh, it's one is Brazilian. Which one's yeah. Brazilian? Alexander Pantoja. His his name is Alexandra Pinocha. Pantoja. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? Pinocha. Pantoja, but I'm not sure because I'm not from Brazilian. Oh, uh, you you don't know him? No. Uh, I know he's a very good fighter, but have you ever seen him fight? Yeah, but uh, Brenda Moreno, and he beat him I think a few times, not only once. Yeah. It's a battle though. They fought three times. Yeah, yeah, it's a battle. That's your weight class, too, huh? No, no, it's for uh, the lightest guys. Oh, this is the thirty. One twenty-five. What the fuck? One twenty-five. <laughs> Yep. My one of my legs weigh 125 pounds. <laughs> I'm sure. Hey, hey, I hey. I'm sure. Oh, you, oh, oh giga. Those, those, <laughs> my the tail end of calling me fat. <laughs> no, brother. Big. <laughs> big. No, he said not fat. Big. All right. All said, right. That's the Georgian way, huh? Big. Yeah. Uh, UFC's calling with the contract. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so his name is Alexandre Pinocha versus Brandon. Roy Ball. Roy. I'm pulling for Roy Ball. He's a Roy good guy. Ball. He's been wearing Jackson all week. He's been training. He's fighting for the title. He, uh, I think, I think Roy Ball has something that no one has seen. He trains out of Colorado, I think. Denver. Yeah. 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 He's got something that I think that people are going to see. He's a dog. He definitely ain't going to give up. Is he a Jackson athlete? This guy going to do crazy. He's going. He go. No, he's not a Jackson athlete yet. I'm sure he will be soon. But he wears Jackson. He wears Jackson. He's a dog. I I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna bet against anybody that wears Jackson. I I don't know either either of these guys, but you know I when I don't know either guy, I'm just rooting for an exciting fight. Cause yeah. oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a battle. Yeah. One thing one thing about the American fans, this I always held this against American fans because you know I got my big break fighting in Japan. That um, I feel like the American fans don't understand that somebody's gonna win and somebody's gonna lose. Every fight can't be a draw. And I feel like the respect goes out of the window for the, the, the person that loses the fight. I see so many Fairweather fans, they be cheering for a guy, then he he fights hard and he put on an exciting fight, but then say he loses or he gets knocked out. And in Japan, like as long as, as, long as you fight with that fighting spirit, they, they don't care if you, you, yeah, they love you. They don't care if you win or lose. This is what I love for, for, for Japan fans and uh, K1 days, that's why right. like, um, I didn't never fought in Japan. I fought uh, K1 in Europe, but uh, the, we would be fighting almost every month, every second month, if we wanted to. You know, if we were healthy, and um, they would appreciate their fans are like great, and you know, I've seen how they react on the fights, and it's amazing. It's different it's appreciation. Different, right? yeah. Don't don't you wish the American fans would like kind of adapt that? Like, yeah, uh, you. You know, somebody don't disrespect the loser because he did the work. I would say disrespect the guy who goes out there and stales and put on a boring fight. Okay, if he if he loses and stuff like, okay, you say whatever you want. But if the, both guys are fighting hard and they put on an exciting fight because we're fighting at the end of the day to entertain you. Like it's mm-hmm. our job, but you know the goal is to entertain the fans. Yeah, true, it's true, true, right? So I would I would like for American fans to stop disrespecting fighters when they lose like stop talking shit to them on the social medias you know what i'm saying like i agree you agree i mean if you've never fought like we sit here and we just talk about fighting but i have never said oh this guy sucks that guy sucks i have never fought i I have no place to say that i could say who i like but i don't think anybody who's ever fought would agree with that you you they would all agree with that they would never say go out there and just bash someone there should be a mutual respect for someone that gets in the ring all right saying that i i hope that um alexander pinocha uh loses Okay. Because, because respectful. Because Brandon um, worst Jackson, so I'm a bet. I'm a bet on. I'm on Brandon too. I'm on. We're Brandon. all going Brandon. We all going Brandon. Where you go? Yeah, yeah, we got. I a new mean, belt. if we like, never gonna bet against Jackson. All right. So we all. So there's no bet there. Yeah. All right. Amazing. I like that. And I, I just, I just texted them right now. I said, "How's he looking? Everything's looking good. Okay. I like that." All right. Yes. All right. This is the big one. Before we go on this one, we got to watch the clip. Some chaos went down today at the press conference. Oh, let's see. Pull up the clip. Oh, we just missed it? Yeah, we just missed it. That was lame. Sorry. Literally, what's your 
your level of education? I'd love to know. Did you graduate elementary school? No, you didn't. All right, I'm the people's champ. I got a question for the people. Did you come out here to support these red coat motherfuckers? Or did you come to be a part of the American Revolution? All right, all right. That's a good survey. I like it. I got one more survey for you all. For all the people out there, how many of you guys have fucked Ian Gary's wife? Oh, my. Oh, oh man. Wow. Why did he go there? Oh. Wow. Wow. Wait, there's another one. I think someone threw a bottle at his head. At hey, Kobe? Yeah, hey, pull, pull this video. I just searched it right now. Someone threw a bottle at his head. I don't know. Someone threw a water bottle at someone's head. That's probably his, his, uh, her, her, her ex husband. Her ex husband probably <laughs> threw a bottle at his head. I yeah. wouldn't blame him. Yeah, Her someone, boyfriend. someone just threw a water bottle. That was a that was a they didn't fucking cash when he fought this bomb, so I mean he's fucking he literally got the personality of a fucking slug. He makes Cleveland look like Jay fucking Brown. He knocked, he knocked you out in front of Maddie. He didn't knock me out. He didn't fucking knock me out, dude. That's a little tight. Got the ref had to fucking cheat. I beat his ass for five rounds straight. What did he say? Oh, he threw it. Oh, wow. What, what did he say? Somebody, he said somebody's dead? Leon Edwards threw a bottle at, at, at uh, Kobe's head. What did he say? He said something about his dad. He said somebody's dead. Oh, my. Wow. Jesus. Wait, wait. Is it dead passed away or something? What? That's, that's too that's, oh, this that's is low. Getting... That's too low. Yeah, this is getting crazy. Um, What's the point of that? Vinny, is this, is this dad deceased? Wow. See. I'm pulling it up. You say what? He was killed in a nightclub. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Jesus. What? Wow. Wow. See, see okay. Um, Kobe Co Covington. He broke the unwritten law. Yeah, can't bro. talk about a deceased family member's man. Look at that's the first comment on the video. Yeah, wow. COVID Covington. I I I said some fucked up shit in in my in my you know fight career you know um, about my opponents and stuff like that. And I'm gonna tell you, karma is real. I paid for it. I paid for it. God don't like ugly. I'm I'm telling you, bro. You you want to um, apologize for that and like a heartfelt apology because that's. That's not right, bro. Like, um, you're gonna lose a lot of fans for uh for that. You know, luckily for me, what I said wasn't wasn't that bad. But um, you know, I'm a very um, spiritual uh person and at the time I was super religious and I know there's I know there's a God. That's my own personal opinion. I know there's a God, but uh I said some fucked up shit about Vanille and I got comment right away. I was like, I don't know why I said it, and I said like um like I didn't, I didn't believe that we evolved from monkeys until I met Vanille. Oh, that was, that was really bad. You know, that was really bad, and and I felt like he, when I got knocked out, I deserved. Did you say what oh, about one delay on the, before the fight? Or? Before the fight, I said that years ago in Japan. I was like trying to say that he looked like a primate. And that was that was wrong. I mean, I never, I never officially apologized to Vanille, but Vanille Silva, I apologized wow. from years ago when I was young, um, saying. The stupid stuff that I said, I, I apologize. And and COVID, COVID, what's his name, Covington? Like I see what he's doing. He he, I see what he's doing. Look how he's dressed. Look at what he's doing. I see what he's trying to do, but he went a, a bit too far. You know, what I'm saying he's trying to get the sound bites. He's trying to get the attention so he can get more money. That's how you get more money. But he's just trying a little bit too hard, and he's doing it wrong. He's trying. He's trying to go like um, Conor McGregor esque, but Conor McGregor did it perfectly. Conor mm -hmm. McGregor did it right. He yeah. he's doing it wrong. Do, he, do you agree? Is that is that breaking the unwritten law? You don't talk about a not, family member. No, DC. No, you don't. You don't. You don't do that. Who who does that? Like think about if if some think about if yo if you got to put yourself in other people's shoes. That's what I've always <clears> did. When I when I talk shit about about um 
my opponents and stuff, I always tried to be kind of like funny. I mm-hmm. was, I never tried to, you know, go like too hard on them unless they they like came at me wrong. Then the gloves were, were came off, like all oh, the gloves off. Mm-hmm. I can say whatever I want, but that's 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 too far. And he he did it wrong. Okay, the first comment when he said about how many people fuck Ian's wife, like that Crazy. was already low because Ian's not there. He got are they even the same weight class? Yeah. I didn't say we clear. Yeah. yeah, so he so he's trying to set up a he's trying to set up a future fight with okay, I understand why I understand why he did that. He's talking themselves in, in fight. How, how good is Col Kovic Covington? What is his work record? I mean, he's he's coming off some really big wins, right? I mean he's 17, he, 17 and three. Seventeen and three. So is he a really good fighter? Because I, I never paid too much attention to him. Kobe? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. Uh he can get the fight. Yeah, he can win the good. fight. He can be. Yeah. But, is mean, he a wrestler? Yeah. Yeah. I never really paid too much attention to uh, Kobe Kobe Covington. Mm-hmm. Is he is he a good fighter? Is he like he's a he is a good fighter mm-hmm. for sure. He has some skills. Like he's a good wrestler, but yeah, I mean he he can win the fight. He can win. He's seventeen and three right here. Like has 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 he been fighting like top tier people? Yeah, I mean he has a win on Miles Vidal. He has a win on Woodley. He has a win on um, I think he beat Dos Anjos. Junior Dos Santos? That's heavyweight. No, Dos Santos. No, no, Rafael. Rafael Dos Santos. Oh, Rafael. I think we need to have him on here. We need to ask him what he thinks about Kobe Covington because he got to deal with him live and direct. Actually, he's coming or he might be here already. Where? In you, like, OC. Oh, we need to get him on here. Yeah. Hey, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to predict. I never, I never give predictions. Okay. I've never, I think it's disrespectful okay. for a, a fighter to give a prediction. In, in, in a fight, but I'm I'm going to predict that Leon Edwards knock him out. Oh wow! Uh, Leon wow. Edwards knock Kobe out. I'm going to predict that. I hope I'm right. I hope you're right. Yeah, I hope I'm right because um, I think you're right. Because because wow. now now I'm I I would never be a, a Kobe Covington fan. Like I, I I like that he represents like America and you know, but that's but, different America. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, is right, but not the face of America. Right, he's not the face of America. But he I, don't represent me with that comment. No, no, I would never <clears> talk <throat> about someone's dead dad. No right, way. Right, he don't represent me as America. I, I, I was going to finish up and saying like, even though I'm not um, super patriotic, I'm not a super patriotic person. You know, so I don't care who who knows that. I have to, I have to be honest. I have to keep it real. You know, I, I love my country where I live and stuff like that. But I'm not a super patriotic person. Um, where I'm from. Honestly, not a whole lot of black people are where I'm from, you know what I'm saying, in, in my country. We're just not very patriotic. And, um, and uh, but I like I like that he would represent Donald Trump. I'm a fan of Donald Trump. You know, I, I do like him. And that's what that's all I knew about him. I never really seen him fight. And I've seen like little sound bits and stuff like that from scrolling on social media. media. Yeah, from social media. That's why I see a lot of these guys. You know, I have a lot, a lot of times I want to watch a lot of the fights, but I be so busy, man. I got a whole bunch of kids, a whole bunch of bitch, uh, a whole bunch of <laughs> whole bunch of what? Hold up, hold up. I'm pulling up stats, and you said you got a whole bunch of what? You you're supposed to be in, in fight camp, coach. You said you got a whole bunch of what? I got I, I got a I got a whole lot of stuff to do, so I don't get a chance to watch as many fights as, as I want to. But I'm going for uh, Leon Edwards in, in this fight. You know, what I'm saying I, I think that he's going to knock him out. I let's hope he go. knocks. It, I hope let's he knocks go. him out. Let's bo- let's bet all in. Yeah, to uh, Leon. all in, all, yeah. in. all in on Leon. I will say this: I spent a lot of time with Coach these last couple of weeks. He's from uh, Belfast. He's from Europe or the UK, Great Britain. Where are you from, Coach? What's the city? Manchester. Manchester. He said you're from Belfast. He t- he would call you Irish. I don't, I was heard that it's in Sons of Anarchy. And so, uh, I'm from Manchester. Manchester, and I like I like Manchester. I spent a lot of time. And he's there. a Manchester United fan. You're a United fan, Coach. I'm a City fan, so I can't really <laughs> deal with you. Listen, listen, yeah. Lads, you, can, you can go say I'm a lot and all that, but if you want me to smash the podcast, <laughs> <laughs> he hates hey, Manchester. Hey. He hates Manchester United. Hey. He's a really? Manchester City fan. <laughs> On that note, I gotta say something. The time I've spent with you, I've really cared to really love the UK people, the Irish people, the Great Britain people wherever you're from. And uh, I will say they have a great respect for fighting, culture, people, family, respect. He's here 24 seven, whatever we need. He shows a lot of love. And that's just, that's coach. That's Rampage's boxing coach, coach Bobby. And so 
I definitely have have felt a, a new love for uh, Leon Edwards. I definitely feel when he first won, I felt bad because I like Usman. I felt like it was a lucky kick. And when he came back and he kind of smashed him, really controlled he the did. fight, I said, okay, now he deserves to be champ. And now I really like him. And with the respect he showed there, like he didn't just start saying something back. Like he threw a bottle, like, let's get it on. Then you, you went too far. Most people, if they weren't really about it, they would just start talking loud back, say something dumb. Mm. He was like, yo, let's get it. I think you crossed the line. That shows respect. That was emo- But that was emotion. He threw it right away. My yeah. Jacob, what would you have done if somehow talked about your <clears throat> your deceased family member being in hell? Like something like that. That's Yeah, like- I yeah, I don't even want to imagine. I have a past mom. My mom passed like 10 years ago. If somebody mentioned that while press conference or something, there is no like there's no limits how disappointed you'll be and you can't do anything that's how it is to me you know yeah i I haven't lost a parent yet but i you know um god willing you know the natural order of things they go first then 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 the kids go and i don't know how i'm gonna take it because i left i left home i left home like over 20 some years ago to pursue my dreams of being a fighter so they I don't get a chance to see them as much and every time I see my family they're getting older and Where older they live? uh they're Memphis. Oh. Yeah. No, I'm not from California. Mm. And so I th- I think about that. I see my dad and I and I see how how every time I see him he ages you can see it. And I think if somebody if I was in a press conference and my and my uh, one of my parents was in heaven and somebody said that shit like that, I would have tried to kill him. Right? Before I wouldn't care about the fight nothing like that. I I would have I don't know if I don't know if the whole stage could could have held me back. I just don't know. Yeah, I just don't know. I honestly like uh, I would have I would have tried to kill him. I would end up in prison or something like just something like something like that. Like something like that. Yo yo yo, a person like me, my 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 life can be over. My life can be over mm-hmm. for something for something like that. I almost threw my I life agree. away. In, I almost threw my life away in college. Self defense. Somebody hit me in the mouth with a um. Payphone receiver, and I and I beat him up so bad I I, I went to jail. Oh wow! And it, and that's why I joke around all the time because I have the worst temper. I feel like I I'm the nicest person, but something like that that would send me to prison. Yeah, I, I think yeah. there's a limit you can't. And cross nobody that. would say yeah bad uh, no about that guy too. Mm-hmm. You know because like for normal people that that's how it should be. You cannot sell everything. You know you have some things that you cannot cross. I understand that to sell the fight, you can try to do a lot of stuff, but come on. Yeah, he 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 took it too far. He took it too far. He did it wrong. At the end of the day, we we're all Conrads. The way I, in my opinion, we're all Conrads. Like today, you did one of the nicest and greatest thing in MMA. You know what? What you and uh, Wanderlei, you guys were rivals for for a long, long time, and straight on media you apologized and i'm sure when you guys see each other you guys can talk about that some of your fights your past and that's what about sportsmanship and normal human being is right that made me realize and this you cannot imagine you say this and you met like kobe meeting leon doesn't matter who wins in two three days they meeting 20 years after it's still going to be the same shit. Yeah. His dad still passed away when he was 13. And when he sees him, he's going to try to, I don't know. Right, you're right, right. He's he's not he's not safe. He's not safe nowhere. They, they, they better keep them apart from each other. Look, they still got to do the weigh-ins. They did. Yeah. I, I was watching that video, and it looks like they, Usman was ready to kill him right there. I mean, uh, Leon Edwards was wait, 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 why, why are they weigh-in on? What's today? There is no, they, not today. The not tomorrow, the way, but they just they just met right now. What? What they had? They had another FaceTime. Like face that was stupid. That was stupid. That was stupid yeah. for them. That they should have canceled that face. Hold on, let me see this. He's like, uh, Leon's ready to get it on. He's like, all right, you crossed the line. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Yeah, I just I just hope Leon's mind is stronger than Jose jo- Jose Jose Aldo. Yeah, when uh, 
Conor McGregor getting his... I getting think his... at that time, Aldo maybe didn't speak English, don't really understand a lot of stuff as well, maybe. Mm -hmm. It's a different case. They both understand mm -hmm. everything clear. Yeah. yeah, but some people can't fight really good, man. Some people can, but some people can't. Yeah, that's true. Because some, some people, when they fight mad, they fight with too much emotion. Too much emotion. When, like, when you talk to um, Chuck, Chuck was explaining that, you know, and Tito actually said the same thing Chuck said, kind of. You fight with emotion, then you kind of go off your game plan. You start trying to kill the guy instead of focusing, and then all of a sudden you forget about technique. You start trying to out-muscle. You know, obviously, it's a unique thing. That That is very, very... I mean, that's like, how can you not fight with emotion? You're walking in there just hating the guy now. Yeah. yeah. I know that Leon has the brothers, like the real brothers in the family who, like someone, uh, they told me from Europe that they are into like, like, I don't, I don't want to call them gangsters, but like something yeah. close to that life, you know? So I don't think that's going to be safe for Kobe for a long time. It's like, he just don't say well, that. Let's see what what's gonna happen. You know, I don't know. He's, um, yeah, he's very vocal, so I don't think he even cares or thinks about that because Kobe is very, very vocal on social media. I would love to have him here and have you kind of grill him a little bit about what he if, was thinking. If he, yeah, if he, if he ever come comes here, I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a, a little piece of my mind. I, I, like that. I, I I'm very disappointed to see somebody that says they represent America and our sport and our sport say some bullshit like that. The the end thing he said about Ian's wife, that could be kind of funny. I honest uh you know that was that was right there at tipping toe tip you know for me. Even for me that was tiptoeing a little bit because I would like to smash Ian's wife. I mean <laughs> I, I mean it. I'm kind of I'm I, we got a rap. So it's 10 years good. after they uh, they might not be to even together and Yain and the what's name the the what's name? Ian Gary. Yeah, and it, who's, who's a Colby? Yeah. They might see each other and shake hands and talk about that right, type right. Of but the, 10, 20 years after, right? But Leon, his father's oh, not yeah, coming yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. I agree with him about that. And that before we go, also to Giga, I want to say thank you for popping in on this. This is our of first course. kind of fight breakdown. It's very unique. Obviously, the fans know they're not going to get a traditional Fox Sports new, but uh, you know, CNN network style, ESPN breakdown. It's going to be a Rampage style breakdown. And when we uh, go through fights and we go through fighters that Rampage doesn't know or does know, he's going to give uh, every ounce of what he actually thinks. Very genuine. So he speaks from his heart and his mind. Sometimes he also speaks when he's horny and starts talking about. Whoa, girls. whoa, whoa. Well, you, you, you do like to talk a lot about, you know, the women that you're into. You know, he brought in this girl. He's shown us this girl. Now he's before, lying. Before the podcast started. Oh, you, you weren't trying babe, to. Babe, babe, I don't be showing you off. Don't listen to Barry. He. He crazy. I only the one got that one. You brought here. I only I only got one girl. You bring her every time. No, I oh. never I never brought her here. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you see what I got to do? It's like you never know what's gonna happen. And you got coach over there, you know, telling me to be quiet. I was kidding, coach. <laughs> I got. I, he always got. Babe, hey, babe. He's. he's Yeah. Listen, that that can that can mess a fighter up. Saying the saying say, because he can be like, I should have said. This. His own family members going to going to. It was like, Kobe, what are you doing? His mom, if his mama and his parents are still alive, they should call, ring him up and say. Yeah. yeah, but I think he was ready. He he wrote it before. You see, like the, how he how he did it, like out of nowhere, he said it. He, I think he premeditated decided. Before yeah. that, yeah, yes. So it says I mean, a lot. Everybody, I mean, uh, well, and I'll end it on this for me. Like emotionally, sometimes people say some stupid shit. You know, we are all human beings, and depends like what's our emotion. I, I, yeah, but that type of thing is kind of yeah. rody, and you said it. I guarantee, I guarantee you, he he lost fans. Um, chat. When you, I want you guys. Um, I'm sorry, I'm like I'm streaming. <laughs> yeah, hey, this My guy bad. thinks he's on Twitch. I, I, for real, I comments, thought I was. I comment thought I was, section. I thought I was in, on streaming video games or some shit. For real though, leave a comment and let me know how you guys feel about um, COVID. COVID. Com what's his name? COVID. Uh, COVID. Uh, COVID. Kobe Coverton. Uh, let me know what what y'all what y'all think about that comment he said and if you guys 
um, drop if you guys stop being his fan over that comment, or would you guys want to see him apologize? Giga, I want to say thank you. Rampage, I want to say thank you. Before we go, comment section, I want you guys to let me know. I'm putting together the next couple episodes with Rampage, and we're trying to figure out the guests that we want Rampage to sit down with to break down fights post-fight. So this is like a reaction to the card and who's fighting. And then after a fight, we're going to sit down and talk about it for boxing, for uh, jujitsu, for grappling, submission grappling, and UFC fights. We'll also talk about the first uh, Bellator and PFL championship fight. Rampage will be there watching uh, Juan, right? You're going to the fight? Yeah, I'm going to Risen. So Juan, Juan Archuleta is going to be fighting in Risen in Japan, championship. Japan. Japan. Oh, yeah. that's Japan. so cool. Yeah. So we got a lot of different things going on. So chat. Oh, God. Now you got me saying chat. So <laughs> comment section. And everybody that's subscribed to the channel will probably hit 60,000 subs by the time this video comes out. Like I said, thank you guys for supporting us. We have uh, two big cards coming up. After UFC uh, 296, we'll be obviously doing 299, 300. We might be at 300, but we're definitely going to be breaking down the cards before the fight and then post-fight. And then TJ Dillashaw is going to be on a couple of those as well. Guys, let us know fighters you want on these videos to talk about the fights pre-fight and post-fight. I think that'll really help us pick the guests. And, and, and better yet, the fighters that you guys want, go and spam their social medias and tell them, y'all got to come to Jackson. <laughs> DM them, say it on their posts, the ones that you want, man. Y'all got to come to Jackson, sit down with Rampage and Bear. It's, 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 it's a family thing. It's up to you guys to help us out with that. We appreciate you guys. That's a wrap. It's a wrap.